Hey guys, welcome back to the complete yacht buying process. The next section of the complete yacht buying guide is your resources page. So this is a very important page. Here we are going to share with you a site for surveyors, some past surveyors that we have worked with and clients have worked with. But again, selecting the surveyor is your choice, but we want to have uh, resources for you up front. Next up, we're going to talk about insurance companies. So we're going to give you some insurance companies that we work with and are top partners of ours. And we would encourage you to work with them or other marine insurers. We as brokers will help you through to talk to the insurance company, what you need to know. And again, up front, you're going to want to document your boating experience, ownership experience, captain and crew, crew plan, cruising area, seasonal usage, if there's a wind storm or hurricane plan needed for the boat, and then if you need a charter endorsement. Um, what we've done is we put together a link here to make it super easy to fill out your boating resume or boat ownership resume. But this is very important. If you want to get the best rates and the best options for insurance, it's really important to document all this up front and your broker can help coach you through how to fill that form out and what to say and how to properly communicate. Uh, next section up here, we provide you some resources uh, with finance companies. And again, super important to get pre-qualified and then pre-approved on the specific boat itself. Now, a few things that we want to go through here, we've got resources for you, but again, the process, you'll have a financial uh, finance application. They're going to want your driver's license or passport. They're going to want two years of complete personal tax returns. They're going to want two years of W-2. They're going to want a current pay stub and they're going to want current bank accounts brokerage accounts at 401k to prove your financial position. And all of this is needed within a 30 day window. All the documents need to be no more than 30 days old. If you're self-employed or 1099 employed, a few other things that you're going to want is you're going to want two years of business complete tax returns, and you're going to want to have a year to date profit and loss statement. As well, you're going to have the balance sheet for your business. All these things, having that in place, will help you get the best finance options. Now keep in mind, some banks may not fund live aboard situations, tax liens, if you had a tax lien, if you had a bankruptcy, special things, maybe multi-owner. Again, if you have multiple people buying the boat, it's the weakest chain. Multi-buyers don't make you stronger to get a loan, they make you weaker. So it's the weakest chain. Each individual should be able to qualify for that boat on their own. So very important to know when you're discussing with the various marine lenders. Some lenders will not do charter operations, so you need to be aware of that. If you're gonna be doing charters and communicating that to the lien holder up front, uh, you just need to know. Some people do charters and they're gonna to wanna to know the charter area, charter endorsements, how you're gonna flag it, all those considerations. Other lenders do not do international loans, so that's very, very important. Okay, the last resource on the resource page is the marine attorney. So we have a marine attorney that we work with that we'll share with you. And uh, you can certainly bring your own marine attorney, but for vessels that are foreign flagged or more complex, these are things that you're definitely gonna want a marine attorney as part of this.